Today in second grade math, we are going to be working in unit four, lesson number one. In this lesson, we are going to practice using coins again, just like we previously did in second grade. But today, we are going to have some of the coins that we've already learned, and we are going to add quarters to our coins. Before we start, let's review the coins that we already know. Let's take a look at these three coins that we've already practiced in second grade. The first coin is the dime. A dime is worth 10 cents. We count them like this, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. And we know that 100 cents gives us a dollar. When we draw a dime, we use a circle and we write a 10 inside to show a dime. The next coin is one that you probably remember. This is one that's the most popular to remember. That is the penny. The penny is the only coin that we have learned that is made of copper. That's why it's brown. A penny is only worth one cent. And when we draw it, we draw our circle with a one. The last coin that we've learned so far in second grade is over here. This coin is the nickel. A nickel is worth five cents. When we count nickels, we sound like this. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, and so on. We count by fives. And when we draw our nickel, we draw a circle with a five in it. Now, as second graders, we have already practiced these three coins. But today, we are going to add another coin. That coin is a quarter. Here is the word quarters and quarters. Now, let's think about what we already know about quarters. The first thing that I know is that the quarter has a very important person on it. On the front of a quarter, you will see the man with the name George Washington. Do you know who George Washington is? I bet you probably have heard of him before. George Washington was the very first president of the United States. He is on the quarter. The quarter is worth 25 cents. So it is worth the most compared to the other coins that we've practiced this year. It is also the biggest coin that we have practiced this year. Today we're going to practice different ways for us to add up to 25 cents. As you know, a quarter is worth 25 cents. So let's first practice by only using pennies. Now if you remember, the penny is just worth one cent. So if I count by pennies, how many, how many pennies do you think I will need to get me to 25 cents? If you said 25 pennies, then you are absolutely right. Now this is going to take us a minute. Let's see what happens. There are my 25 pennies. Now, as you can see, my pennies sort of started getting smaller as I started going down. I was afraid I might run out of room on my screen. And I grouped my pennies into groups of five, just to make it easier. So I did five, 10, 15, 20, 25. So in order for me to get 25 cents, 
I need to use 25 pennies. Now that's only if I'm using pennies, which as we know, that's a lot of coins to carry around. Let's try another way. What if I want to show 25 cents, but this time I want to use nickels? Nickels, as you know, are worth five cents. Let's count by fives together and stop when we get to 25. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25. Wow, that's a lot less coins. Let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five nickels. That is a much better um, amount than carrying around 25 pennies. Five nickels would be a lot less to carry. That sounds better to me. Very nice. So in this problem, we only used nickels. Ooh, for this problem, they would like us to get 25 cents, but we want to use dimes and nickels. So I know that dimes are worth 10 cents and nickels are worth five cents. So let's see how I could do this. Maybe I'm going to start with my dimes since they're the biggest. I could say 10, 20. Can I add another dime over here? No, I can't because that would take me to 30. And I only want to get to 25. So I can say 10, 20, 25. Well, that's even easier than the nickels. I would need two dimes and one nickel. That's only three coins total. That would be pretty easy to carry around. Now, when we have quarters, we will need to practice skip counting by 25. And I don't know about you, but I don't normally skip count by 25. I'm really good at counting by tens. I'm really good at counting by fives. I also like to count by twos. And I can count by ones. But I haven't really practiced counting by 25s before. So what I have done is I've made up a little tune that I sing in my head when I need to add quarters. Here's how it goes. It goes like this. 25, 50, 75, a dollar. And I know it's not a very good song. It doesn't rhyme. It's not the greatest song you've ever heard, but it's what I say in my head when I add quarters. 25, 50, 75, a dollar. And here's how that works. If I have one quarter, then that is 25 cents. If I have two quarters, I have 50 cents. Three quarters is 75 cents. And four quarters is one dollar or 100 cents. When I'm counting these quarters, I can sing that little song in my head. 25, 50, 75, a dollar. And that's how I add those coins in my head. I know it sounds silly and I know it's not a great song, but it really, really works if we're counting by 25s because there's no real easy way except we just have to practice. 25, 50, 75, $1. That's really the only way that we can practice counting by 25s is just to keep saying those numbers again and again. Let's practice a few problems using different coins. I have two quarters and eight pennies. How much money do I have? Let's go ahead and draw those coins. So first, I have two quarters, and quarters are worth 25, and then I need eight pennies. Now, 
Now I'm going to use that little song that I sang just to count in my head. Ready? 25, 50. Oh, I need to stop there because I don't have another quarter. I only go up two quarters. 25, 50. Now I'm going to keep counting with my pennies. So I have 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58. I have 58 cents if I have two quarters and eight pennies. I drew out all of my coins and then I added them together. Let's try one more. I have three quarters, two dimes, and six pennies. How much money do I have? Let's draw those out. First, we have three quarters. Those are worth 25. Two dimes, dimes are worth 10. And six pennies. Okay, I'm gonna use that silly song that I made up, ready? 25, 50, 75. Oh, I need to stop there because my quarters are done. So I have 75 cents. Now I need to add on two tenths. Okay, so 75, 85, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101 cents. Now, wait a minute. What do I know about 100 cents? Does that give me a dollar? Yes, it does. I could also write this as one dollar and one cent. They both mean the same thing, whether I just use cents or if I use dollars and cents. Now, second grade, keep practicing these coins. It's going to take a lot of practice to get used to them, and that's okay. Make sure you're practicing adding money, and practicing counting by 25.